the sun. We humans tend to really enjoy the sun, whether playing on a sandy beach in the middle of the summer or soaking in the rays by the side of the pool, we love the warmth the sun provides. Even as seasons change and temperature drops, a ray of sunshine on a wintry day can warm the heart. The sun is a star and the center of our solar system. Everything in our solar system revolves around it. The sun is crucial to life on Earth and to the existence of all the other planets around us. The sun's immense mass draws all the other planets in the solar system toward it. Since Earth and all the other planets are moving very fast through space, the sun's presence keeps them moving around itself. If the sun would suddenly disappear, Earth and the other planets would retain their forward motion, effectively flying off onto outer space in a straight line. Many early cultures saw the sun as a god. The ancient Greeks thought that the sun was a handsome god and they named it Helios. The ancient Romans took much of their culture from the Greeks, and as their empires progressed, they worshipped a number of sun gods. However, in doing so, they replaced the Greek word for sun, Helios, with the Latin root work of soul. We have carried the name soul forward to today, as it represents anything related to our sun, including our solar system. Ancient Egyptians had a sun god called the Ra, while in Aztec mythology there is a sun god named Ternathiu. The structure of the sun is made up of six distinct regions – core, radiative zone, convective zone, photosphere, chromosphere, and corona. The sun is held together due to gravitational attraction that produces an intense temperature and pressure at the core. So why do we need the sun? The energy from the sun is very important to the Earth. The sun warms our planet, heating the surface, the oceans and the atmosphere. This energy to the atmosphere generates our weather patterns. The sun gives energy to the growing green plants that provide the food and oxygen for life on Earth. Without the sun's heat and light, the Earth would be a lifeless ball of ice-coated rock. 